Get your Bibles with me. So good to see you obeying God tonight. My life is very short. I don't have much time on earth. So one thing I am very conscious of is time because I don't have time to waste. So every minute of my life I have come to cherish and everything I do with that minute has become a priority. And so I am very careful who I am with all the time and what I'm saying. I would like to share with you on the power of purpose. I want you to take notes tonight, especially those of you who are still not sure why you're here. Hi, right, this is Brother Kim. Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. I just want to let people know that um, the death, the sad death, or the tragic death of Dr. Miles Monroe, even though it's very sad, but the good news is that he died fulfilling his purpose. He died fulfilling his God-ordained purpose. He knew in the 90s when God started using him in Christendom that his lifespan on earth was short and he started pursuing after his purpose. And one of the major purpose was leadership, learning and helping Christians to know about their purpose and also leadership. And when they he was going for a conference about leadership, I think, and that's where the, uh, he lost his life through the plane, the tragic plane cl um, crash. One of the things I want to leave with us is that life is not about our duration. Life is not about our duration, how long we live on, uh, on earth. Life is not about our duration on earth, how long we live on earth. But it's about our donation to the earth. It is our impact. It is the blessing. It is the change that we bring into this earth to make it a better place. It is not about the duration. How long? You can live long and yet still when you are dead nobody will even remember you because you really did nothing with your life. And then there are some also, it's about their donation. The little time they spent on earth was well spent and it was quality and they donated they were a blessing to humanity and the kingdom so that's one thing we could learn and he knew it from the onset that even though his life was short he was taking advantage of every minute every second to fulfill that purpose and he was he died with that purpose and dream i encourage us that even though we mourn his death and we grieve and uh, sympathize with his family, that we learn that we also have purpose, destinies for us to fulfill. It's not about our living on earth. It is not even about all about heaven. Yes, it's about heaven. But until Jesus comes, he says that occupy. He says that watch and pray. We need to fulfill God's divine purpose on earth now as we wait for God. Ask yourself, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What is God demanding and expecting from me? What must I be doing right now? And that was it. Purpose. And if you don't know your purpose, go to the manual, the Bible, and pray to God, and He'll help you find your purpose. This man died fulfilling his purpose, and he has left a legacy. Though he's dead, he wrote books. These books uh, will be still informing many generations. Though he's dead, he has sermons. It will still be impacting many generations. Though he's dead, he has poured himself into many lives. They will be carrying on. He also foresaw what was coming. He knew that the time was coming for the transition. And I want people to know that his death is a symbolic of a change of baton. Because during this conference in Azusa, Benson Idahosa was the one who was meant to come and preach. But for some reason he couldn't make it and they called him to 
to come and preach. And that's when his, his ministry began. And that's where he began to have an 